Interpreting Automatic Static Perimetry Results. Automated static perimetry mostly tests at a central 30 degree. You can test farther out, but you really want, um, you want to see what's happening in that central area because that's where optic nerve and retinal diseases occur. And what you'll see is several different circles like this on this page. We see the graphic depiction of results from a static perimetry test on a child with normal vision. It will show these round circles that represent different aspects of the analysis of the visual field. And probably you can ignore all of them but the one that's usually on the right and it's a density plot and it's showing in just different um, blacknesses and whitenesses of light how abnormal that field is. So a normal field would show mostly very light dots, white dots, with some variations. And you'll notice there'll also be a blind spot. And that will be a little dark area on this right eye field off to the right and below the, the horizon. And that's a normal blind spot. And that's really important to test. And of course, it always gets tested. Then we look at a child who's having the same test but has an abnormal field. And this is a boy about 10 years old. Now we see the plot of a child with a vision abnormality and the results are interpreted. For his right eye again, also the right eye, shows abnormality in the nasal portion. Remember we talked about the nasal field and the temporal field. That's on the left. There are dark areas all along that rim and that represents non-seeing. Where it's black, he doesn't see the target. Where it's gray, it's, he has, the target has to be quite bright for him. And where it's white, off to the right in his temporal field, he's seeing it normally. So he has what we call a nasal field constriction. And his plot shows good reliability and also not within normal limits. Beyond that, you have to go to the doctor and ask for more interpretation in relationship to his, the damage, to his, wherever his damage is. His is in the retina. Fade to black. 